Bleacher Report, Kyrie Irving and Nets are in pass right now. This clears the way for Kyrie Irving to test the open market per Shams. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to see this news today. I was very surprised about it when I saw it, that Kyrie Irving could maybe leave the Nets. But what do you think? Do you think he's a re-sign? Do you think, or what do you think is to happen? Do you think they're going to get this contract figured out? What do you think he really wants? The Lakers, I feel like that would definitely be a good option, but they need to get rid of Westbrook first. I think they'll add a lot to the team. It might, it probably make them a championship type team. And the Clippers, that would definitely add a lot. Him, Paul George, and Kawhi would definitely be very lethal. But overall, I don't know how it would work out. A lot of times, big threes don't really work out as people expect. It really doesn't go a lot of people's ways. And the Knicks, I feel like that would be a good option for them. I think it might be a missing piece they really need. Someone who could really score the ball. And it could really help out Julius Randle. I feel like overall, the pressures he's been facing, he really has been living up to them. And I don't really think he need. I don't think he really wants to be the main guy on the Knicks. So I think Kyrie will be a good option. It'll be pretty close because he's obviously in Brooklyn to the New York Madison Square Garden. So he won't have to move at all. But overall, what do you think about this? And do you think Kyrie Irving is difficult to work with in general? Like, I don't know how it got this bad. I think it has something to do with Kevin Durant being upset with him. Or what do you think happened with this? Do you think the management just doesn't want to deal with him anymore? Or do you think they still want to resign him? What do you think is happening? And what do you think is going to happen? BS Sports HQ, trade or no trade, Russell Westbrook, 2027, first round pick, going to the Rockets, and then you have the Lakers getting John Wall. Overall, I don't know if the Rockets would really accept their deal. They've already had Russell Westbrook. I don't really know how well it was going to work out now. But what do you think about this? 2027, first round pick. They really don't have that many picks, so I don't know if they should really give up anything. Overall, I, should, they, I think they should just try to do straight up Russell Westbrook for John Wall, but I don't know if... The Rockets would be hesitant to do that. But overall, I would take this trade. John Wall isn't a player he used to be. I feel like his injuries really robbed him of having a better career than he was supposed to have. And he should have some championships by now, but he wasn't fortunate to play on a very good teams, especially with the Washington Wizards. They're a very bad team for a long time. And Bradley Beal and him really didn't work out in general, it seemed like. So I think this would be a good move for him and went out a lot. And the only reason why it would really help, it doesn't matter how washed John Wall is in general. It's better than Russell Westbrook, who really turns the ball over pretty much every play. And I would take this trade. But what about you? Are you taking this trade? And what do you think about it? Did you report the Draymond Green show? Don't let us win an FN championship. Draymond Green on people writing off the Warriors. Which they did let him win an FN championship. And it seemed to really work out for them overall this season. What do you think about this podcast, though? report this is a legendary photo of steph curry steph curry holding his awards from the 2022 season Kobe bryant all-star game mvp mike johnson western Conference finals mvp bill russell finals mvp larry o'brien trophy that's a legendary photo there's not many people who can say they've done that i don't think anyone has